Howdy hackers. Do you hate memorizing long complex passwords? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to use your voice in this circuit board to type them for you on a computer. <laughs> I'm in. Let's start by checking out the hardware. I'm using an Adafruit Circuit Playground Express, link in the description. It runs on Python or Arduino code, and with its SAMD21 processor, it can act like a keyboard and mouse. The Circuit Playground Express contains a bunch of sensors like a light sensor, infrared transmitter and receiver, temperature sensor, microphone, buzzer, accelerometer, NeoPixel LEDs, buttons, and a switch. Like other makers, I highly recommend Adafruit, and this board is great for both beginners and experts. For this project, I'm going to use two main features of the Circuit Playground. The first is the MEMS PDM microphone, which can be used to detect audio levels and even perform basic FFT functions. The second is the SAMD21 processor's ability to emulate a human interface device like a keyboard or mouse. These two features will allow us to create a voice-activated password vault. When the microphone picks up a loud noise, the Circuit Playground will send the keyboard strokes to the computer, which contain the password. This tutorial assumes that you have a Circuit Playground Express ready to go and will be using Python to program it. If you need to configure your device, visit the link in the description for the overview and how to set it up. Plug the micro USB cable into the Circuit Playground and the other end into your computer. To learn how to use the microphone, I'm using the example code provided by Adafruit on the Playground Sound Meter tutorial page. Link is in the description. And to learn the keyboard, I'm also using the example code from the CircuitPython HID keyboard tutorial page. Link is also in the description. I suggest testing each example code separately on your Circuit Playground and become familiar with how the code works before modifying them. Since I want the password sent at a given volume from the microphone, first I need to run the sound meter demo code and review the data output. There are many options for which Integrated Development Environment, or IDE, to use when programming your Circuit Playground. Please refer to the overview link for which ones Adafruit recommends. I'm using Visual Studio Code. I've uploaded the sound meter demo code to the Circuit Playground, and now I'm running a separate Python script in order to receive the serial data output. There are several factors affecting the numbers that you see here. Refer to the sound meter tutorial for more details. But as you can see here, a low is around 60, and as I'm making noise with my mouth, the LEDs light up on the circuit playground, and at the same time, the output data stream corresponds to the volume. After yelling a few times, I have my data and can stop the code. I scroll through the code and look for maximum values. Here's a moment when the max was 8,811 and this one is 9,789. This one is 8,094, and this one is 10,145. Choose a value for your maximum threshold in order to send the password. For this instance, I would say 8,000 should be fine, so anything over that would send the keyboard strokes. I'm not demonstrating the example code for the keyboard, but it works very well. This example sends either a capital A or the string hello world, depending on which button is pressed on the circuit playground. We'll be borrowing the layout write functionality to send our password string. Okay, so here I have combined the two example codes into one final code for the circuit playground. I started with the microphone example code and copied and pasted the keyboard code as I needed. I scroll down to the while loop and after the microphone magnitude has been calculated, I add an if statement. I say, if the magnitude is greater than whatever threshold we determined, in this case it was 14,000, then turn on the pin 13 LED and type the password to the computer, which we declared at the beginning of the code. Then we wait a half a second for things to calm down and then proceed. Else, turn the LED off. You can download this combination example code from my GitHub, link in the description. Now that we have reviewed the hardware and code, let's generate a strong password. There are many websites that can do this. I'm using passwordsgenerator.net, which allows you to choose the length and complexity. I copy the password to my clipboard and paste it into my code as the assignment to my password variable. If we scroll down to the while loop, we can see that this is when the variable is used. Very important. If someone is in possession of your circuit playground, they could have access to your passwords, so keep it safe. Now it's time to upload the code. Plug in the circuit playground and you should see a code.py file in its directory. 
Open this file in your IDE. Next, from the original file, select all of the code and then copy it to the clipboard. Then in the code.py file, select all of its code and paste the new code that you just copied. Finally, save the file. The Circuit Playground automatically receives the new code upon the save and should start executing right away. I suggest testing your voice activated password fault by opening a program like Notes or Microsoft Word. Yell into the device and you should see the small red LED light up at the same time that the password is being typed. If you don't see the small LED light up, then yell louder. Now let's try entering passwords in a few different environments. First, I'm demonstrating on a Microsoft Surface Pro and using the voice activated password vault to log into my Windows account. Ah, oh man, that's crazy. All right, now let's try it on a Mac user account. And now on this dummy website login page. Woo! Success. Now this is just one of many ways to manage your password. This way is fun and may be useful in case you don't have access to password applications. This demo used the microphone, but imagine what other components you could use. Buttons, the movement sensor, or the infrared remote. Comment below on how this project could be improved or what password manager is your favorite and why. And subscribe for more hacks.